How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to set the parental control settings on your Kindle Fire HD. Now I'm going to show you a basic level of, of setting and then I want to show you a more advanced level for even younger kids. Um, so you can kind of see and, and gauge it how you want it. So first thing you're going to do is pull down your menu here and you're going to go to more. And then you want to go to parental controls, okay? And first thing you want to do is turn it on. And then once you turn it on, it's going to ask you to set a four-digit or at least a four-digit passcode to uh, to secure it. So I always make it just zero 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 zero, something easy to remember or something that they're not going to remember. So make sure you set it for better than that. So after you do that, you can kind of control what they can actually look at. So the first thing is you can actually totally block the web browser or you can unblock it. So if you want them to be able to search the web, you know, you obviously want it to be unblocked. But right now it's blocked. Same thing with email, content, and calendar also blocked. Um, you can make it password protected. So if they're going to purchase something, you can make it so they have to put in your password in order to be able to make a purchase so you know that's and these are this is the the preset settings for it and you can change it the way you feel it needs to be but if it, you're giving it to a kid and your credit card is in the account I would definitely make sure the password is enabled and right here it says require a password to purchase and download from the Amazon App Store or the App Shop okay because if they tap on the app to buy it and your credit card is linked in and this isn't on then it's going to just take from your card and they're going to be able to download whatever they want so be aware of that same thing with videos require a password to play amazon instant video or prime instant video so same thing you can kind of limit the videos they'll be able to watch as well by turning it on they'll have to come to you and have you put the code in in order for them to be able to do those certain things now here's the most important part where it says block and unblock content types if we tap this arrow here you can unblock certain things so for example if you want them to be able to download books and audiobooks you can unblock that or excuse me right now it's unblocked so you'd have to tap block to, to make sure that if you don't want them to be able to look at anything there if you hit block they can't go to that okay um, you may want to keep obviously books unblocked because maybe you want to use it for more reading. You can block music so they can't listen to what you have on there. Same thing with videos. Um, you can block that. Um, documents, apps and games you probably keep unblocked. If you have some photos on there that maybe you want to protect, keep people seeing, you can go ahead and block that. Then we can go back. Uh, if you want to change the password, real simple, you just tap change password. You will need the original password in order to change it, so keep that in mind as well. You can't change it if you don't know the password. Um, you can also, this is probably one of the biggest things you can do to protect it or to kind of control what's going on. Is you can actually set it so they have to put your password in in order to be able to connect to Wi-Fi. So, for example, let's say if you have put a certain number of, of apps on there and videos and you don't want them to be able to go on the web or to search certain things, if you set this on, they have to come to you and have you put in your uh, password before they can even go online. So, that's also a really good option because let's say if you did have the web browser unblocked, you see like right now, you can say where they still would need a password to connect to Wi-Fi so you would know when they're going to go online. Okay, so now that those are set, let's go and look at and see how it's different now. So we have a couple of things locked here. So for example, if you look right here, you can't go to music, you can't go to videos, you can't go to newsstand, you can't go to the web or photos. Okay, if I go to my star here, they... See, web is blocked. So even if they try to go to the favorites, it still won't allow them to go there. And let's say they try to unblock it. If they go to parental controls, it's going to ask for your password. So unless they know that code, you now have control over what they can look at and can't look at. So now they're saying, oh, I can't go online, can't look at the pictures, whatever. Um, but, oh, I can go to books. So you can, they can just go to books and read. They can just go to apps. They can just go to games. And I want to show you an example here. If we go to shop, okay, and now they try to buy something, let's say, well, I'm going to go download a video. They go to video. Videos have been blocked. You cannot, you can unblock them by 
put in your product control, it's asking for a password. So once again, even if they try to go around these controls, there really is no way around it because it totally cuts them off from these certain sections and doing these certain things. So um, this is kind of like the basic parental control uh, how-to. Now, now I want to go into the more in-depth one. This is if you have younger kids. So let's go to apps here. And actually, this needs to be a separate video because it's a whole different process and of restricting and different things like that. So I'll make sure to have a link in the video on how to get to the, the second half of, of setting the printer controls because it's actually named something different. It's actually called Kindle Free Time. So I'm going to go over that in the next video. Make sure you tune in to watch that and that'll give you a little bit more insight. Especially if your kid is younger, probably under five or four, you probably want to set up free time because it it's even more restricting and you can customize it and basically say you can only look at this, this, and this, and it's a awesome app. So tune in for that and we'll see you soon. Make sure you like the video if you did find it helpful. Subscribe to H2 Tech videos and have a good one.